Pop art is short for popular art. It was created around the late 1950s through 1960s. It began in Great Britain, then quickly spread to the United States. The pop art movement was both a reaction against abstract expressionism, which was seen as too elitist and non-objective, as well as a celebration of post-war consumer culture. Pop is playful and ironic, not spiritual or psychological. Pop art was mostly used for mass media, advertisements, comic strips, billboards, packaging, television and movie personalities, commonplace objects, and much more. It was brought a lot of attention to people based on its style. Pop artists use bright colors, a lurid color, sometimes a small bend a dot seen in newspaper print is copied, bold lines and shapes, immediately recognizable objects and people. Although pop artists rejected abstract expressionism, their work is nonetheless stylistically flat. There are many famous artists who made this possible, like Richard Hamilton, Roy Lichtenstein, Andrew Warhol, Tom Wesselman, and more. Abstract expression is a consciously American style of art that influenced similar European movements such as Tashmin. Abstract expression can be broken into two large subdivisions, action painting, which came first, and color field painting. Action paintings generally have more violent, frenzied appearance, while color field paintings have a calmer, more spiritual quality. The term abstract expression was used as early as the 1920s to describe Kandinsky's abstract paintings. Writer Robert Coates first used the term of contemporary paintings on March 30, 1946, issue of the New Yorker. Supportive critic Harold Rosenberg used the term action painting, while other critic Clement Greenberg preferred American style painting. Still, abstract expressionism was the term used more frequently in the U.S. Abstract expression became popular during the mid-1940s through 1950s in the United States. Abstract expressionism was not really a coherent style so much as an attitude against traditional styles, realism, techniques, and finished works. The painters do share in common their reliance on psychic self-expression. Generally, action painters employ dripping, splattering, pouring, or other aggressive techniques in an effort to be spontaneous and instinctive, while color field painters preferred a saturated approach to paint application. Larger canvases were normally used.
Minimalism is painting reduced to essentials. It is an art that is neither expressive or illusionistic. It started in the 1960s to mid-1970s in the United States. It later influenced earth art, post-minimalism, and post-modernism. It is constructism, post-war work of Barnett Newman, Ad Reinhardt, and David Smith, and 